Would you look at the time? What's going on, you guys? I'm back. I know I look a little different. I just got back from Florida. Tyler Wood Bushcraft. You know who I am. Um, I'm back with another video, finally. So we're about to bang this video out, give you some content. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> who are you? I'm Tyler Wood, damn it. I'm Tyler Wood, too. Good to see you, brother. What's going on? You want to do some camping today? Yeah, man. Let's, Let's get it. Let's do it. All right, so yeah, we're back, guys. Uh, today's video is something special. We have the Amazon cheapest hot tent. It's an ultralight hot tent. And along with that, I went ahead and bought Amazon's cheapest wood-burning stove. So can we survive a fairly cold 15-degree Fahrenheit weather night uh, on a budget? Uh, we should find out. I don't think I paid more than 200 bucks total for this. So today's video, we're going to be testing that out. And then I have a new product uh, that a company reached out to me called Bigfoot Bushcraft. Uh, and we're just going to see how well their products are. They have been tried and tested, and we're going to see if, they're, if they can hold up to the other name brands. So uh, follow me along as we kind of get everything out. We got some new Coleman. Uh, ch -ch -ch Converta. Convertus. I ain't used this in a minute. All right, let's go. Oh, beautiful. And it's been a minute since I've been out here camping, as you guys know. Looks like we've already found some treasure out here. Very cool. I'm gonna get the camera set up. We're gonna find a nice little spot. Set up this hot tent and hunker down for the night. This, zoom this out. There we go. It's getting cold already. All right, let's go ahead. Show you guys what this cheap ultralight tent looks like off of Amazon. What is that? Fitum? F-I-T-O-M, maybe F-L-T-O-M, but that's the main part. You got the, the pole as well. I guess I show both cameras. There we are. Everything fits right in your bag, and you got your stakes and wire. And I did pick up a new percolator since my old one broke. I got that in there, and I got a pan, so. Let's go ahead. I will, I don't know if I'll show you guys the whole entire process, but I'm gonna throw it up and just kind of time myself and see exactly how long it takes to set this up because I know that's pretty important for a lot of people. This looks good. Nothing above us. So let's go ahead and get this out. And this is what they come with. I think this was my only complaint so far is how cheap these are. I mean, very cheap, but let's go ahead and use it as it comes. Oh, this could actually be very well worth the money. I just, I don't know. I've been waiting. <laughs> Peekaboo. I think that's uh, about as good as I want to get it because I really don't want this thing to fall down and mess up. So this is supposed to be a two person. You can tell I'm out of shape because I'm winded. <laughs> Woo! All right. It says two person. Yeah, kind of. But uh, when we had the wood burning stove in, we had our two cots in and our bags with supplies we are gonna be a little tight squeeze so uh snuggle up buddy but anyways uh let's go ahead and i will show you guys that wood burning stove and we'll get that inside and set that all up for you so in the great words of steve steve wallace i know you're watching we're gonna hunker down 
All right, so as I said, cheapest Amazon tent review. Um, this thing was under 100 bucks. So I think it was like $98 with the free shipping. So $98 total for that. And then if we kind of glance over here and zoom in on that guy. All right, so then this wood burning stove I think I paid $86 for it. And I'll leave the links down in the video below if this turns out to be really good and this is something you guys wanna do and haven't been able to do because you know, uh, winter camping can be quite expensive to keep sure and make sure that you got, <laughs> he's showing me a Harry Potter one I bought. Yeah, I bought a Harry Potter one, all right? So this was like 80, 84 bucks. And as I said, winter camping can be quite expensive to keep yourself warm and to be safe. But uh, I don't always believe that you have to spend a lot of money to have fun. So whole purpose of this video besides this and the black not blackfoot why do i say blackfoot bigfoot bushcraft we're going to try a bunch of new things out and see what works for 2022 coming up show my audience that harry potter stuff don't come at me boy all right it might be a little dark in here so bear with me so this folds out like that. Take your legs. These extend out like that. Keep it off the ground. We're gonna move these leaves, obviously. And just pile all those up around the edges too, so we don't get a lot of a lot of air coming in. So it feels like I guess it's kind of gotta be like this. Because the stove jacks here, I just haven't cut out the hole yet out this is a little all right covers on top got all, and got all of our pieces and all fit right inside and this like I said is ultra light so this is one of the great ones I did the first burn in already Not hard. set it up like that we need to build our pipe so from here Never done this before. Using my new SE6 knife. Just gonna cut a hole the size of the pipe, maybe a little bit bigger. Cutting like butter, obviously. Beautiful. Just like that. Now we got that, and let's go ahead and finish building this. Uh oh, what am I doing wrong here? Let's see. Same size. We got one bigger. There we go. I don't know if we really need it this big, but voila, just like that. He's putting that new saw that Fowler gave me, that area uh, Boreal 21 saw to use. I haven't used it yet. He's like, oh, this saw is brand new. I was like, yeah, I forgot. Fowler sent that to me. I didn't even open it yet. And as I said, the other uh, product that I want to try out today is going to be by Bigfoot Bushcraft. Uh, he sent me some of his stuff. We got the fire plugs, all weather. They're waterproof. They're windproof and a burn time of five minutes. So we're just going to see if all three of those things are true because it is even though right now it's not as bad, but the wind does pick up here and there. Uh, we definitely have lots of water. We can douse these things in, try to start a fire with. That's how I plan on getting the wood burning stove uh, lit for tonight. And then also a very cool, there we go, focus, little satchel and, and what's inside. And what I wish a lot of other companies would do is, now this is a ferro rod. I mean, it's kind of looks like my big Chungus one. Very thick, girthy in size, I should say. Um, hey, I was waiting for him to laugh, uh, but there you go. It's got a little lanyard with the striker on it. And on that striker, you can see focus Bigfoot bushcraft. Now that's nice. And then also we have the card as well. Bigfoot bushcraft. There we go. That way you guys can scan it right there. You just hold up your phone, hold your phone up. Bam, you got it. All right, there we go. And then also a 
backup striker. I got the, I got the door open here. And as you can see inside, we've got one full size Coleman cot. We got a wood burning stove and we have our other cot from my buddy Marvin with his sleeping bag, which is actually my old one. I'm gonna use that tracker. Um, yeah, so is it a two person? That was the biggest one when it comes to shopping for hot tents or just tents in general where they say it's a two person, three person, whatever it may be. Uh, yeah, I believe you can fit two comfortably in here, especially using cots instead of just sleeping on the car, hard, cold ground. All right, so I couldn't wait any longer. Uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft sent me some of his fire starting kit. Um, the fire plugs that are 100% waterproof, windproof, and a five minute burn time. So we're gonna try this out right now. Um, brand new bag, completely sealed, as you can see here. I'm gonna open this up. And that's what we look, what we're looking like here. Um, empty pot. I'm gonna dump two of these in here. Brand new bottle of water. We're gonna soak those up. See if I can't get a better shot. There we go. So, unfortunately, I gotta put my hands in this cold water. Take these out. And uh, put that on here for you guys. So that one not burn the table. You're supposed to just flop them up. There we go. Put it right on the table and I'll move it over. There we go. Oh, hot, 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 hot. And I should have probably grabbed my phone out sooner. We're gonna grab this, grab our timer. Oh, stopwatch. Stopwatch, here we go. All right. So, about 30 seconds ago, probably should have started, but. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the fire and. Take out the other one from the water, as you can see. Rub the two halves against each other. All right. While well, that one's still going, I'm gonna set this one right here. And we're going to get this one going. Uh-oh. Bring that one back. There we go. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, there we go. And we're going to put lap on. So now we got... Now we got them both going. So well over the five minutes, so you can see it's still going. The other one's still going. This lap time two, we're at two minutes and 38 seconds in. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Five, definitely over the five minute Burn time. Alright, what's going on guys? 
guys. It is like 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, fell asleep pretty early last night. It was probably like right around know, 8 o'clock that we fell asleep right after we had got done making dinner. A um, couple things that I've learned from this super cheap uh, wood burning stove. And I'm going to show you if I can figure out how to switch the camera around. So there's no seam around the door right here. So there's a little bit of smoke leaking out there. And then right here, this flute is so loose. Like we've tightened up the screw, we did everything we can, but you have to like just get it just right. If not, it closes up and it smoked us out a couple times last night as we tried uh, soaking a fire. So yeah, I got a pretty nasty headache from that. So all in all, tent worked out really well i mean i'm surprised that we'd be able to fit two of us in here with two full-size cots um held the heat in i will say that it definitely held the heat in uh we went from like around what would you say one two o'clock yeah from one to two o'clock at night we didn't even mess with the fire anymore because we didn't want to get no carbon monoxide or anything like that so uh we just stayed warm with our our hoodies and our blankets some coffee and then we're gonna be packing up and heading out so all in all tent worth the money the stove if you ain't got a second person with you i would not trust you taking a stove with you especially with that flute i don't know maybe it was just one i ordered whoa it's just hey, yeah. big old pop <laughs> but uh i would definitely not recommend a solo trip with that stove because that could be quite dangerous um I don't know if it's just I got an defective one or what, but I do not recommend. And as far as the um, bushcraft, Bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs and the kit that he sent me, um, very nice. I, I, I enjoy it and I will definitely be using that a lot more on my trips. Um, I give it a 9 out of 10. I mean, it worked perfectly. I mean, 10 out of 10, I guess. I mean, it does everything it says, water resistant, fuel resistant, or water, wind, yeah, water and wind resistant, so, that's it for this video, guys, I'm starting to mumble, so I will catch you guys on the next one. Oh, you guys want some of the dramatic stuff in with this as well? All right, here we go. Oh, get this big log up. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, going through. Oh. Oh, can you see that big log behind me?